In our lesson today, we looked at a uh, subtopic called molar heat of combustion, where we're going to look at the definition, we're going to look at how to find molar heat of combustion, we look at how to write a thermochemical equation, how to draw an energy level diagram, then we look at worked examples, then you look at how to find change in temperature. So we look at the first one, definition of molar heat of combustion is the end that between that occurs when one mole of a substance is completely burned in oxygen. Then you look at how to find the molar heat of combustion. If you look at the previous lessons, we said the molar heat of solution, displacement, neutralization always follow three steps. Step one is to calculate the heat change which is given by mass of solution times specific heat capacity times temperature change. Mass of solution is obtained by the volume of water times density of water. Change in T will be measured by initial temperature of water and then you measure the highest temperature of the water T2 then change in T becomes T2 minus T1. Then C is the specific capacity given by 4.2 joules per gram per kelvin or 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per kelvin. Now in step 2 is finding the number of moles which is given by mass in grams of fuel burnt over molar mass. So to find the mass of uh, to find the mass of fuel burnt you measure the initial mass of the fuel M1 then you measure the final mass of fuel M2 so the mass will be M1 minus M2 note that the final mass is lower than the initial mass that is we have a loss in mass when the fuel is burnt due to formation of gases which escape the air now the last step is calculate the molar heat of combustion where you take the moles step 2 is even enthalpy change step 1 or about 1 mole in cross multiply you get the answer in kilojoules per mole so we take an example use the information below to answer the questions that follow volume of water 900 centimeters cubed initial mass of charcoal 23 grams final mass of charcoal 20 grams initial temperature of the water 20 degrees celsius ice temperature of the water 45 degrees celsius a find the heat change bracket density is equals to one gram per center script c 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per kelvin solution delta h is equals to mc change in t where m is equals to density of water times volume of water and is one gram per centimeter cubed times 900 centimeters cubed you get 900 grams now because i'm given c in kilojoules per kilogram per kelvin so i convert my mass to kilograms by dividing a thousand you get 0 0.9 kilogram Change in T will be the uh, the ice temperature T2 minus initial temperature 45 minus 20. So delta H should be given by 0 0.9 kilogram times 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin times 25 Kelvin. The answer gives us 94.5 kilojoules. B find the number of moles of carbon burned so number of moles is given by mass in grams of fuel burnt divided by molar mass now the mass of fuel burnt is initial mass minus final mass which is 23 minus 20 which is 3 grams so number of moles is equal to 3 grams divided by 12 gram per mole that is the same as 0 0.25 moles. C. Find the molar heat of combustion. So that will be obtained by 
zero point two five moles even ninety four point five kilojoules or about one mole cross multiply gets ninety four point five kilojoules times one mole over zero point two five moles give you negative three seventy eight kilojoules per mole. The negative sign is because there was a temperature rise during the reaction. D write thermochemical equation. So I said when you're writing a thermochemical equation, you write the balance chemical equation, then include enthalpy change. So the the thermochemical equation therefore would be carbon solids plus oxygen O2 gas RO CO2 gas and there'll be change negative 378 kilojoules per mole. Draw the energy level diagram. Now when you're drawing the energy level diagram for an isothermic reaction, the arrow goes down because because the heat content product is less than heat content of the reactant. So you draw the y-axis, put energy kilojoule per mole. The x-axis, you put the reaction part. Then you place your reactant that is carbon plus oxygen at the top. Then arrow goes down, get the product CO2. Then NLP change is negative 378 kilojoule per mole. Now the source of errors during the experiment is it loss the surrounding is not accounted for. Now next we want to look at is how to find change in temperature. Now in our previous lessons we have looked at how to find change in temperature. It goes through three steps. The step one is to find the number of moles which is given by mass in grams of a molar mass. And step two you find the heat change by using the molar heat of combustion in this case where you say one mole is equal to mole height of combustion what about the moles in step one you cross multiply you get the heat change the last step is changing t is enthalpy change over mc example when eight grams of sulfur is completely burned in oxygen it raises the temperature of 500 centimeters cubed of water by x degrees celsius find the value of x given that the mole height of combustion of sulfur is negative 297 kilojoule per mole bracket d is equals to one gram per cent cubed s is 32 c is 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per kelvin solution number of moles is equals to mass in grams over molar mass 8 over 32 is equals to 0 0.25 moles step 2 we are told to find the heat change We'll say one mole even 297 kilojoules 297 is the molar heat of combustion what about 0 0.25 moles cross multiply you get 297 kilojoules times 0 0.25 moles over one mole that gives you 74.25 kilojoules so the change in t is given by change in h of mc so you already have change in H, so you find M, mass of solution. Mass of solution is density times volume, which is 500 centimeters cubed times 1 gram per centimeters cubed. Gives you 500 grams, so we convert to kilogram because our enthalpy is in kilojoules and our C is kilojoules per kilogram per kelvin. So we get 0 0.5 kilogram. So change in T, therefore, is equal to 74.25 kilojoules divided by 0 0.5 kilogram times 4.2 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin our answer becomes 35 kelvin which is equal to 35 degrees celsius learners that marks the end of our topic 